Christina Rosnik and Clint. My peers, fellow speakers, students, and guests, would you please raise your glasses with us? This is to the hard work we put in and the success we're expecting to come out. Toastmaster, speech six. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. There's good and there's bad, there's right and there's wrong. Just happens that today, I'm the bad. These two speakers had the opportunity to speak at Toastmasters, I did not. But today I'll be going over the speech that I'm going to give on Tuesday. I'm going to be speaking about, I'm going to give my Jesus speech. I, I love the speech. It's very, I can speak passionately about Jesus. I love the guy. What can I say? So I'll be speaking about childhood memories. I'll be speaking about my deployment with Jesus and how devoted his friendship is. And that'll be all. I did get the opportunity to speak at Toastmasters. I spoke at the one at the Blue Shield building and I will be speaking to you about the way I felt leading up to it, the class time and just the drive there, my experience at Toastmasters and what I took from the experience at Toastmasters. I also spoke at Toastmasters at Harborside Toastmasters in Bremerton at the Kitsap Bank. I will uh, cover my three three points I want to cover are my experience with Toastmasters, the speeches I spoke about at Toastmasters, and what I left with. So. Growing up with Jesus, um, the friendship was remarkable. You know, growing up as a kid, you got to scrape some bruises, fights, fist fights at the park, basketball, sports, siblings, grade school, all that kind of thing. And I, I was one of those wild kids. You know, I, I, I like to climb trees and do that kind of thing. I was an outdoorsman, if I'd say, for lack of better words. So um, I, I, I would like to say that I lived a dangerous life, <laughs> even as a kid, you know. I was young, and I'd run through the parking lots all over the neighborhood. I'd be across town. Nobody knew where I was. But, <laughs> you know, hey, I was safe. But Jesus, even as a kid, I knew that I was protected. And that doesn't mean that I was living a reckless life or anything like that because I knew that, that everything would be okay because, you know, things happen. And I just happened to grow up in a time where crime was a little bit different than nowadays. You know, nowadays you can't, you can't have your kids running around across the neighborhood and not really knowing where they are because nine, nine times out of ten, they might get snatched up for somebody's ransom. You know, you, know, you never know. But growing up, I like to say that Hey, Zeus has been with me from the beginning, right from Jump Street. And as I moved into adolescence, getting getting older, trying new things out, and um, <laughs> like I said in the beginning in my intro, good and bad, right or wrong, hey, Zeus never left. And I don't have to worry about being judged because hey, Zeus is there regardless. And that... I can't speak enough about, or I could, I mean, I really could. I could speak for days up here about how Jesus and what he does. But for me, he played his most important role in my deployment. My deployment was, um, was a very uh, new experience for me. I'd never been in a war zone, <laughs> but you know, Jesus, he really shined. And I, when I think about it, I think about that little, um, you know, the plaques, about the footprints. Everybody, I'm pretty sure, is familiar with the footprints. I only seen one set of footprints. Where were you at? Well, when you've seen those one set of footprints, it means I carried you. And that's exactly how I feel because with me and my choices that I've made, I feel very lucky and fortunate to make it through, through a war zone. And I'm, I'm very thankful to be speaking in front of you today. Um, hey, Zeus shined the most when, when I actually got injured over there. I uh, stepped in a little hole over there and I messed my surges up. I went down, I couldn't, I couldn't move, I was getting shot at, my leg went numb, and it, it was a scary, it was a scary situation because you know with bullets flying over your head, I'm stuck here, I'm not mobile, and I really need to get out of here because I can see the, <laughs> the lights going over me, and it, it was pretty scary. But Jesus was with me then, he's with me now. I say the term Jesus, but I personally know him by Jesus. And that's my vibe. <clears throat> 